Hi, I'm Ian Cole, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on relative humidity. You're probably very familiar with the term relative humidity. You may even regularly measure relative humidity. But do you know how to define relative humidity? It turns out that the definition of relative humidity is quite complex. It's defined as the partial pressure of water vapor divided by saturation vapor pressure times 100. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue too easily, does it? Let me quickly pick apart this definition, starting with the partial pressure of water vapor. The partial pressure of water vapor is directly related to the number of water molecules present. So think of the partial pressure of water vapor as being another way of measuring the amount of humidity in the air. Right now in this room, the partial pressure of water vapor is 0.4 inches of mercury. If that's in the numerator, what's in the denominator? Well, that's the saturation vapor pressure. There's a limit to the amount of water molecules that you can find in the air in a room. The saturation vapor pressure is related to the maximum number of molecules that can be in the air for the given conditions. Right now, the saturation vapor pressure in this room is 0.8. Why is this room limited to 0.8? The limit is a function of energy. If we increase the temperature, more water vapor molecules can be in the air. If we decrease the temperature, fewer water vapor molecules can be in the air. So let's bring it all together. We divide the partial pressure of water vapor, which is 0.4 in this room, divided by the saturation vapor pressure, 0.8 in this room, and multiply this number by 100. If you do the math correctly, you should come up with 50%. Here's the great thing. You can buy a simple device that tells you the relative humidity without ever needing to worry about vapor pressures. Remember that relative humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air divided by the maximum possible amount, which is a function of temperature. If you'd like to learn more about relative humidity and its effect on indoor air quality, consider taking the one-hour online class titled Introduction to Psychrometrics in the IAQA University. Visit iaqa.org for more information.